What's up guys and welcome back to another new Cedia Tweaks video. In today's video we will be talking about some new tweaks to share with you guys. Those Cedia Tweaks will be working starting from iOS 11 up to 12.4. Anyway, as always, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you will be notified always whenever I release a new Cedia Tweaks video. Let me go ahead right now and start talking about the first CV tweak that I have for you guys. And the first one will be called the Respring. This will be provide you with a Respring application will be pop up once you install that tweak in your iDevice. You can take a look right now here. This is the icon that I told you guys about. So once you install that tweak or the Respring application, it will be just like this in your iDevice. Once you want to install or remove or upgrade any one of the tweaks that you have in your iDevice, for sure you want to respring your device. So this is one of the respring application. Highly recommend you guys to use it right away from your springboard. Anyway, if you guys look to download this one, this one will be called the respring. Let me go ahead right now and start talking about the next CD tweak. The next one will be called the Power Top 3. Pretty much once you download that tweak, that tweak will be provide you with more than option once you want to uh, hold your power down. So for example, we have the reboot, we have the uh, soft reboot. If you want to respring, you want to go to the safe mode or if you want the UI touch. Pretty much if you want all of those or you want to toggle all of those options so once you hold down your power button you can tap on uh, one of these options and just slide your power down you will be go to the option that you pick if you want to drag a custom tax here for example i already replaced my reboot here with a do tick or any kind of name that you would like to you can add that right away from in there also we have another option here if you want to use the status bar reload if you want to use that make sure once you're done from all the configuration you need to make sure to respring your device so your device will be take the effect let me show you guys right now how is that will be looks like so you can take a look right now here if i hold my power down here you can top and you can choose the options that you want to pick or you want it to work with your device so this is what pretty much the tweak how it's going to be looks like once you download it in your iDevice once again if you guys looking to download this one this one will be called the power top three let's go ahead right now to talking about the next one the simple ls2 with a new update really beautiful and nice looking tweak once you download it in your iDevice so this is one of the uh, things has been updated right now in your live screen. This is what you're going to be watch even if you want to tap on your live screen to bring another watch here. Read your notification. It is uh, available. So if we go ahead right now and talking about what we have under the settings here. So the first section, how is the layout of the time and the weather you want it, like inside, in the middle, you can choose that and toggle that option from in there. If you want the clock view, how is it going to be, it looks like, will be take you to another section here, which is you can choose the style from in there, the auto if you want to use that, and also if you want to toggle the refresh always, and another section here that the widget or the water widget here so you can choose any kind of one of these style right now and also we have the widget options if you want to toggle on it this is the weather section here top on it will be take you to another different kind of option let me just go back here right now this is the date option the same thing if you want to toggle that the 24 hours and the last option will be for always on display which is this watch that i already showing you guys the oled watch and this is the time here the slider so how much that watch uh, you want it to be on your lock screen and then also if you want to always on display you can toggle that charging always on if you want to toggle that also we have some other options here one of them is going to be ignore touches so you can toggle that 
if you want lower brightness you can toggle that and this is the way about that tweak which is in my opinion with the new update really beautiful especially the watch that i show you guys on the lock screen anyway guys if you guys looking to download this one as i told you this is the simple ls2 anyway let's go ahead right now and jump to talking about the next one and the next one will be called the snow s12 this will be bring nice and a beautiful volume hood into your eye device let me show you guys how is that will be looks like you can take a look at it how it's going to be really beautiful at the top corner tiny small it's better than any other volume hood in my opinion let's just go back under the settings here to see what we have first thing that you need to enable the tweak and then also we have more than section here if you go ahead and top on it will be take you if you want to customize the way of that volume you want to customize the background it will be came with different kind of stuff and options and then also if you want to play with the size the position for that volume hood it is available you can choose any one of these options here also we have the animation and uh, you can change some stuff under that section it comes with different kind of sliders you need to make sure once you're done from all those configuration go ahead and just respring your device so your device will be take the effect and this is the way about that week once again if you guys looking to download this one this one as i told you guys called sonus 12. let me go ahead right now to jump and talking about what kind of widget that i have for you guys and this is a new one this one will be called the countdown lock screen so this is how it's going to be it looks like if you want to set that kind of stuff into your lock screen of course you need to use the x and html if you want to use this one for your lock screen home screen the way you like but this one will be specific for your lock screen anyway once again if you guys looking to download this one this one will be called the countdown lock screen so anyway guys this is the most tweak that i want to share with you guys in today's video so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget give the video a huge thumbs up and also make a short subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will be notified always whenever i release a new video catch you with the next one peace